This video brought to you by our Patreons. Please consider supporting this channel and joining our Patreons at patreon.com forward slash NovaWing24. Hi there folks, my name is NovaWing24 and welcome to the Nova Wrap, your one-stop location for your simulation release news and goings on from the week that was. So here we are on the 4th of July 2021 and happy America Day to all of our American viewers. May you enjoy your Freedom Day uh, responsibly with, of course, your the uh, requ requ required amount of fireworks and frivolity. All right, but jumping into the simulation release news for this week and we're going to get started with the first release for Microsoft Flight Simulator from developer Flight Simware with their release of their rendition of the Grumman G44A Widgeon. So uh, users might be forgiven for thinking that this looks like a bit like a baby goose and you would be absolutely correct. So it was a concept uh, from developer Grumman, uh, from, from aircraft manufacturer Grumman, uh, of actually making a smaller goose after its uh, success in as a, uh, as a business transport aircraft. Uh, but of course, well, World War II got in the way. Uh, so it was, uh, while it was did see service with militaries during the Second World War, its civilian side and uh, use would not uh, make a comeback until the 1950s. But either way, it would become known as a highly durable and uh, reliable aircraft and operating in remote parts of the world, including Alaska. So very, very popular up there. Uh, so this is a highly detailed rendition of this twin-engine aircraft, including a highly accurate 3D model, uh, realistic flight dynamics, 4K textures used with full PBR support throughout, a full WYS sound set with custom coding for real-world gauges and animations. Um, it is a modern-esque cockpit. I mean, the aircraft is a very basic air aircraft. Well, it's not, yeah, not basic. Basic's possibly the wrong word, but um, it does uh, sort of uh, provide... A, it is designed to be a more modern rather than a straight off the factory floor rendition of the aircraft. So therefore it does include a couple of modern mod cons because it's some basic Garmin equipment included as well. You also get uh, high quality uh, pilot models internally, uh, your full exterior icing visuals, a full parking mode, including chocks, tie downs and engine plugs uh, with a custom coded checklist included as well, along with a variety of 4K PPR textures included as well. And if you want to pick this one up for your flight simulation experience, you can pick this one up for 30 US dollars or your original equivalent available now from FlySimWare's store. Continuing on with aircraft releases for Microsoft Flight Simulator come to us from Nemeth Designs with their release of their second aircraft for Microsoft Flight Sim uh, with their release of the Yakolov Yak-18T. So this is a uh, interesting little aircraft as it is um, a sort of a, a light sort of touring aircraft, but this does still have um, a sort of, but it sort of pays some nods to its aerobatic past. So while Yak, uh, so Yak civilian aircraft mostly known for their aer aerobatic, type of flying. Uh, this particular one was very much designed as a tourer and as a affordable, accessible uh, and positive tourer. Um, however, it still has a uh, an, an option of being able to perform with aerobatics as well, um, given that it's um, it's still got its pedigree and it's, it's strong design with a highly, uh, highly powerful engine in it still allows it to perform aerobatics as well. Now, this rendition gives us a highly accurate 3D model of the aircraft, including for support for full 4K textures with full support support for PBR materials throughout with authentic flight characteristics and flight system configurations a classic avionics design so no glass cockpits here um, but, it, uh, but it is still fully IFR capable with its uh, classic gauges implemented as well includes full support for rain and icing effects as well including in both the cockpit and on the airframe as well with 13 liveries included as well and if you wanted to pick this uh, classic little Russian aircraft up you can pick this one up for 20 US dollars or regional equivalent of now from Nemeth Designs. Moving out of aircraft releases, moving into scenery releases from developer Orbix, starting or starting with developer Orbix, uh, saw this week their release of Southampton Airport in the UK. So this is a highly detailed rendition of the airport as it appears in 2021, uh, including uh, full support for GA and uh, regional aircraft operations, whether they be Q400, Embraer, or 737s and above. Uh, but it is primarily known for its private jet market and private GA flights. This highly detailed rendition of the airport, as, as I said, is as it appears in 2021, including uh, all airport buildings laid out as correctly, including full support for high definition textures with full PBR support, uh, including custom night lighting used throughout as well. And you can pick this one up for 12 US dollars or your original equivalent available now from Orbix Direct. 
continue on with another scenery release from Orbix. As this week is saw there with this week it saw their release of Sognal Hawkinson Airport uh, for Microsoft Flight Simulator. So this one is a an update from their previous release of this for the ESP platform. Uh, so it's had a full overhaul of the airport, in now including full 4K texture support uh, with PBR materials used throughout the airport as well. Update to the airport and update to the surrounding areas as well as surrounding areas, including updated auto imagery and a custom terrain mesh as well. Uh, so this one is available for uh, 13 US dollars, or if you are, it looks like if you are an existing owner of the uh, legacy sort of ESP sim version, there is a bundle pack where you can get a discount for actually purchasing and upgrading to that pack as well. So, uh, well, let me rephrase I see that for new users. I'm not sure if it applies for existing users. So, if you're a new user wanting to buy this for both my MSFS and also for the legacy ESP sims, you can pick up both bundles together with about a 33% saving. Um, if you're existing owner of the legacy version, I'm not sure if you still qualify for the bundle pricing. It would be kind of cool if you do though. So uh, check it out. Let me know in the comments down below if you do success for that one. But if you, as I said, if you are a new user, why don't you pick this one up? 13 US dollars or your original equivalent available now from Orbix. Continuing on with scenery releases, this is from developer NZA Simulations. Uh, so this week, the release of two airports this week. Uh, so the first one being a Nelson uh, a uh, Airport in the South Island of New Zealand. Uh, so this is a highly detailed rendition of the airport as it appears in 2020 with over 9,000 hand-placed objects, 250 custom assets and all custom buildings and all model all airport buildings custom modeled as well, including full support for a fully 3D modeled interior of the main terminal building and ATC tower with a variety of custom details included with that as well. Also includes a flyable livery of the Nelson Aviation College, which is based of uh, based at the field for the default C Cessna 172 in both the Garmin G1000 and Classic uh, cockpit variants. A uh, variety of other uh, details included, including the uh, Air New Zealand Regional Maintenance um, Building, the Nelson Aero Club, Airport House, Fire Station, all recreated as they are in real life as well. Uh, all airport runways, taxiways, as I said, updated as they appear in 2020. Uh, looking pretty damn cool for this one. Uh, does need their library, which is available, which you get included as this as well. And uh, this one's coming in for 23 US dollars, or original equivalent, available now from NZA Simulations. We also saw this week uh, simultaneously released, it was a freeware air airport released uh, just near Nelson, uh, which is the airport of Motoka, in the, also in the South Island of New Zealand. Uh, again, a huge amount of details gone into this one, accurate layout as it appears in 2020. Uh, so it's a custom, this is more of a GA uh, airport, uh, but it's also used by the Nelson Drag Racing Association for drag racing events. So and just make sure you, uh, you know, buzz the runway before you actually try and land and make sure there's no uh, cars on there. Uh, so as I said, this is a freeware airport, including over 7,000 hand-placed objects, 80 custom assets, 23 custom buildings all modeled as well, with a variety of static airport uh, air aircraft included, uh, with all custom hang all hangars and buildings custom modeled, including the Motoka Aero Club, Nelson Aviation Co College, and Skydive Able Tasman all done as well. So this one, as I said, this one is a freeware add-on, uh, but it's designed as it is only 15 uh, miles from Nelson. It's kind of great to be able to share the two between, so there's a bit of bouncing between there as well. Available now from NZA Simulations. Continuing on with scenery releases this time from developer Skyline Simulations saw this week the release of their rendition of Long Beach Airport in California. Uh, so this is a highly detailed airport uh, version of the airport, which is mostly a business jet and uh, business jet uh, airport, though it does support some small regional airline services as well. Um, but it's still the 10th busiest airport in California. Uh, so it includes a highly detailed rendition of the airport, accurate airport layout as it appears in 2020, including uh, 4K textures with full PBR materials on all airport buildings as well, with highly accurate 3D models done of all major airport buildings included as well, along with a, a custom terrain mesh and custom runway slow, uh, custom runway undulations uh, also included as well, with custom uh, high resolution of ortho imagery for the airport and surrounding area and blended into the default sim as well. And you can pick this one up for 18 US dollars or your original equivalent available now from Skyline Simulations. And rounding out the Microsoft Flight Simulator release news for this week, I saw this week the release from FSIM Studios of their rendition of Halifax Stanfield International Airport in Canada. 
Uh, so this is a uh, again a major, fairly busy uh, international airport servicing uh, both uh, sort of uh, both international and domestic routes within Canada. Uh, includes a variety of airport traffic, whether they be long haul or medium haul regional jets as well. Also home to Air one of Air Canada's major regional bases as well. Uh, so this is uh, this airport rendition uh, is, is accurate as appears at the end of 2020 and made in collaboration with Airfields Canada as well. Uh, includes all airport buildings are uh, modelled, including the latest in the, including the newest terminal, including custom accurate 3D models of all airport buildings with full 4K PBR texture support for all major buildings as well, along with a custom 30 centimetre pixel aerial ortho imagery for the airport area included as well, along with uh, native uh, custom undul- run- runway undulations, custom ground poly and native uh, support for SDK jetways and variety of static commercial GA aircraft with a variety of environmental effects as well. And you can pick this one up from uh, direct from FCM Studios for twenty US dollars or your original equivalent. Available now. Continuing on with flight sim releases, but moving into the uh, legacy sim world, the world of the prepared, uh, by seeing Captain Sim uh, released their latest expansion for their 737-300 series. Well, actually, no, it's like, not the latest. It's their first expansion for the 737-300 series, actually. Uh, originally, I thought it was for the 200 series. No, nope, I was wrong. It's for the 300 series. So, um Okay, so 737-500 was essentially designed uh, to be the like the replacement for the 200, which was the baby of the 737 family. Um, I can't really tell you much about this because literally there is no inf- – Captain Sim have given no information other than – it's out. Uh, it is 25 bucks for what looks to be an external model only. So you must have the 737-300 base pack. Uh, this looks like it's 25 bucks for external model only. Doesn't seem to offer any internal updates or any flight dynamic changes. It's just simply, it's a new external model. That's it. Prepared V4, V5 compatible, available now from Captain Sim Store if you so desire. All right, moving out of the ESP world and moving into the world of X Plane, saw two uh, aircraft releases this week. So the first being uh, from developer V Sky Labs, one of the favorite developers from this channel, uh, for the release of the Pacific Air- Aerospace Corporation's CT 4E Air Trainer. So this is a fascinating little aircraft, by the way. Um, so this is uh, originally a Victor Air Tourer and then evolved is basically to suit a training requirement for a variety of militaries around the world. Uh, some of them, and some of them soldiered on into civilian life, providing uh, flight service for flight training, uh, but also cross cross country tours. Uh, so this particular rendition is the CT4E, which is one of the later variants of the aircraft, and which is equipped with a 300 horsepower Lycoming engine with three by the propeller fix and the fixed tricycle undercarriage ubiquitous of the model and the design. Uh, so this gives us a highly accurate 3D model of the aircraft internally and externally with full support for VR while still being fully comfortable using with 2D screens as well. Built-in support for Avitab, uh, sorry, the Avitab plug-in fun- compatibility as well as highly accurate th- uh, textures, high detail textures uh, with full PBR support included as well. So this particular aircraft, as I said, looking very resplendent in this Royal Thai Air Force livery, along with other liveries coming in for 33 US dollars or your original equivalent available now from V-Sky Labs. In the other aircraft release this week, well, you know, the wings go um, just move instead of being static. Uh, so this week released from Nimbus Designs for the release of their rendition of the UH-1, but the civilian variation of the Eurictuous Iroquois helicopter. Uh, so this is a highly detailed and highly accurate rendition of the aircraft, including a full highly detailed 3D model, uh, both internally and externally, with a variety of um, uh, versions and fit-outs, including uh, th- the, all three different skid heights, a uh, float version, a firefighting module version as well, which is a very, very popular uh, uh, use for the UH-1s. Uh, includes a full PBR textures, full 4K textures uh, with PBR support throughout, used throughout, full VR support included as well, with a variety of accurate systems modeling done internally for uh, fuel, electric, hydraulic systems, and more, uh, as well as uh, including accurate handling and flight characteristics characteristics based off real performance charts. Overall, looking pretty damn good, and I must admit that our good friend Bell Geode from uh, the Three Grumpy Simmers is giving it his thumbs up, I do believe, as well. So if you wanted to pick this one up, you can pick this one up for $38 US or your original equivalent, available now from explain.org. 
continuing on with uh, simulation that releases. Uh, so this week we saw this release from uh, Eagle Dynamics of their latest terrain, their latest map. Uh, so the release of DCS Marianas. Uh, so this is a really interesting uh, map this week. Uh, so this is a uh, the Marianas, their rendition, their rendition of the Marianas Archipelago, uh, of, which is best, uh, basically about 2,000 kilometers south of Japan. Includes Guam, Rota, Tinian, and Saipan, as well as the, a variety of the lesser-known islands as well. Includes a highly detailed rendition of Anderson Air Force Base on Guam, uh, which is the US's uh, main uh, base in the Western Pacific. Now, as I said, this is a free map set, actually, to the community as well. No charge for this one. Um, I'm not going to lie. I'm actually surprised they went with a modern rendition of the Marianas. I was very much expecting them to do a uh, World War II-esque version of this one or maybe a nondescript sort of hybrid or something. So it's really interesting uh, going in and actually seeing them actually produce this one and being familiar with the area uh, from uh, other projects. Uh, it's looking Absolutely amazing, it really is. So this is a 1,500 square kilometer map uh, with large expanses of ocean for naval operations with, as I said, detailed and highly accurate depictions of all islands using their latest terrain technologies and a highly detailed rendition of Anderson Air Force Base included as well with a new, as making a, for a new combat environment with new vegetation structures and buildings custom created for this map. And you can pick this one up for free for your DCS World experience. Uh, but bear in mind though, that you do have to be on the open beta branch to be able to install Install and utilize this map, whether you be on Steam or whether it be on the standalone version of DCS, uh, you must be on open beta to use it. Available free from DCS now. And with that free map for the community, that does round out the Nova Rat for this week. Thank you very much for joining me. Don't forget, as always, to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy these videos and want to see more. And of course, as always, you can catch up with me and all the things I'm up to between videos by following me on Facebook and on Twitter and on Twitch. Just search NovaWing24. All right, folks, thanks very much for watching. Take care, safe skies to all, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.